nuts in this bitch. You're, you're a woman, you don't know. Sir, you might need to get glasses. It's better to be pissed off than pissed oh. off. Put your money where your mouth is. We have a very impatient customer. Hey man, I've been over this motherfucker for about 40 mother minutes, man. My motherfucking money, dog. Y'all got me fucked up here, man. I need some money, though, bro. Babe, back up, man. I came up here to keep taking here, customers, man. Man. Hey, man. Give me some money, dog, right now, dog. Seth steps in. Man, y'all better give me something, dog. I've been over this motherfucker for 40 fucking minutes, bro. Uh, we don't take them. I need some money, dog. Give me some. Can't give you anything. What the you mean? I can't help you. If you didn't talk about I saw one last week in this bitch. Seth is very straightforward and to the point. What about your watch? You want to pawn your watch? Hell no, nah, it's under my mother. So then I don't know what you want from us. We're not taking this. Been live for about 40 minutes, bro. Seth has had enough. All my customers. I don't give a about life. that, shit, man. Yeah, man, what up, man? What's up? We don't care. I don't either, man. Don't touch me either, man. Don't touch your. Put your mother's hand on me. Get the f out. <laughs> While Ashley assists a customer in selecting a ring, screams echo in the background. I'm looking to, for a ring for my girlfriend. The worst service I ever had in my life, man. Ashley decides to go over. Can you help me in the store, man? Nah, I'm about to go nuts in this bitch, bro. I'll be right with you. No, I want you right now. I'll be right with you. Give me a second. For Can I get some help over here, please? Hello? Sir, give me one Can second, okay? Sure. Yeah, I've been waiting here for an hour, dog, to get some customer service around here, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Despite her efforts to assist, the customer is still unsatisfied. Your people just gonna tell me, oh, no, I'm no, no, I'm giving no. you help. Like, for real? For real. What are you gonna do about it? She guides the customer away, yet his actions leave room for regret. Do me a favor. Wow, all I did was ask for help, Don't right? touch him. I really never want to shop here for American Jewelry and Loan Store. Yeah. Deuces. We're in for an intense moment as a customer strides up to the counter. I need to see a manager. I'm here. I got a problem. He's dissatisfied with the VIP card he received at the store. Got a loan on my wife's ring. And when I first started coming here, I got a VIP card. Now you guys put me to a gold card and I get nothing out of it. No, the VIP is the gold. They're both one the same. Thinking his imposing physique and aggressive demeanor will intimidate Seth. How much you get? It's a 385. And now you're upset. Why? What are you guys going to do about it? I'm going to allow you to pick up your ring when you have the right amount of money. He attempts to assert control. You're not listening to me. I am hearing you, but you're not listening to me. You think this is funny? He keeps making threats, thinking this will make Seth comply with his demands. Dude, my arms are bigger than your leg, bro. And your brain's obviously not. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you going to do about it? I am not going to do anything about it. Even while being escorted away, he continues his theatrical display. Really? My man, have a good day, my man. Really? Have a good day, sir. No, yeah. big man. Yeah. I don't think so. Have a good day, man. Have a good day. Hell no. This Where are we going? My house. Right no, I'm way. not going home with you. That's what I thought, bro. Looking to do a trade, we have a customer walk in with a bag full of tools. Well, I'm here to trade my plumbing items. This is a... Uh... Torch. Yes. Yep. So how much do you need? I was looking at this ring right here. $5,000. The customer is quick to jump to conclusions. How much do you think this little flashlight is? It's $90. You're, you're a woman. You don't know. Really? Are you married? I feel bad okay. for her. Ashley makes a decision for the best. It's not worth the amount of money that's going to pay for this ring. That's a bunch of crap. Trade. I'm not trading your flashlight for a diamond ring. Now, doesn't that sound stupid? Take your no. out of my store. I hope your toilet backs up. A classic 1966 Thunderbird is sitting at the front of the store and- What do you got? I got a 1966 Thunderbird. So why do you want to sell it? Honestly, I want a convertible. But will the price justify it? How much are you looking for? 35,000. Why? This is an unrestored original. This car hasn't been touched. Every single part you see here is original. Seth is not so sure about the validity of the car. It's a very cool car, but it's not worth the money you're asking. If I said 10 grand, no, I'll uh, see? <laughs> Even the customer finds himself confused by his explanation of the car's value. Say someone brings in a car that the previous owner of that car was Brad Pitt or Ryan Gosling. So, so what? Uh, does that, in your minds, bring up the value of the car? No. No. So tell me what that meant. What the hell are you talking about? They pop the hood and Les calls the customer out. And you can find them all day long on the internet under 10. Original, unrestored. <laughs> I'm willing to bet money on Double that. Double or nothing on the car. Put your money where your mouth is. Over that top, I'll show you something. Last, First last, of all, last. this is original. Are you kidding me? Bull He's trying to get something over on Who me. Who cares?
Tell me this night we painted. Sir, you might need to get glasses. Well, I appreciate you bringing it in. Thank you. Thank you very much. This customer seeks help. She just sent me over here mm -hmm. to get my money. I lost my ticket. So you didn't pick up your money? No, that's why I'm right here to pick up my But Seth notices something. I see that it was already given to you. I didn't pick up Give me my $80 so I can go. How about you just go with $80 that we already gave no. you? And you gonna stand at the glass? Give me my Got me up, man. Give me my Next up, we have an unusual situation. Chad! Excuse me, sir. Chad! I know you up in this mother Where the you at? Can you please get him? I'm sorry, but who are you? you? Just get him for me. And he's my boyfriend and he's not paying child support. You're That's his girlfriend. I yes, I need him. The lady doesn't seem to back down. Could you just get Chad, please? He's working. I do have a Chad that works here, but I don't have time for this today. I don't got all day either. Ma'am! You piss me off. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Like, I got all day to just be wasting Keep, my time. This young lady would like to see you. That's not him. Seth has had enough. Y'all playing games with me now? This lady is out of her mind. Y'all gonna play with my intelligence like I'm crazy? That's the only chat that works here. No, it's not. Oh, you're Where talking about chat. The tall guy with the waves. Yeah, Chad. He just went outside. Where the f he at? Byron, we'll keep that lovely lady outside. Oh, yeah. He's over out here. He is over there. He just went over there on break. A little bit further. You ain't about to keep playing with me. Ch Chad, wait a minute, Chad. What about the kids, Chad? Chad, don't, don't run. Man, I'm about to go hamburger on y'all fools. Seth is approached by a very impatient customer. Chad, how are you? Hey, man. Hey. Hey, bro. You hear me, man? Hey, why don't you get off the phone, man? I'm yeah, talking to you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that, man. Hold I ain't on. trying to hear none of that. <laughs> bitch boy, bitch boy, I know you hear me back there. I need my man. Seth has had enough of the behavior. That ain't got to do with me. Sure this does. is my ass. Ain't too long, man. I get it. We're short trying to hit that, man. Put your ass from back there, then. What the f is your problem? Man. What? So no, now I'm out behind the window. Now what? I'm a bitch. It don't matter. I don't give a about none of this. I don't give a about him. The boiling point is reached. You know Time for the guard. Come on, bro. You're going to push me out, man. My shit in here, bro. I want my mans, bro. I want bro right there. You heard me? Right, man, right, ain't nobody right, trying to hear that, man. Right, ain't nobody right. trying to hear none of that, man. Right, Come on, man. The customer was attempting to retrieve a ring her husband pawned. Hi. 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 manager. That's me. How can I help you? My wedding ring that's $5,000, you guys have it. I want it back. But Ashley, unable to verify her ownership, refused to release the ring. Where's the pawn ticket? I was doing my husband's laundry, and I pull his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. So your husband stole your wedding ring. We're having financial problems. I get why he did it. Pay for it and get my ring back. You make a police report? No, I'm going to make a police report for him. Okay, so let me... the computer okay, so and let look me... up the name, okay, tell me how so... much I owe you, and give me my... Despite being denied, the customer persistently spoke down to Ashley. I asked you to look it up. I also How hard is that? You look it up in the computer, you take it, I pay for it, we leave. It's not that hard. Let me talk. Give me my drink. Ashley reached her limit with the customer and confronted her directly. You bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Bring it. Take hard. your pretty little feet. Walk your pretty little legs. Go back I'm there, not. give me my How hard is that? Recognizing the escalating situation, the security personnel swiftly intervened and promptly escorted the customer out. Do you shut up for a oh, second? Yeah, never shut up. Get the hell out of here. Up yours. I want to see you walk oh, outside. Please. Screaming. Can't type anything to a computer. Oh, this bitch. I'm going to come back and get my. I promise I'm going to come back and get my. This customer might not have had much schooling. What can I help you um, with? I was trying to find out because your sign was saying that I can get 30 days of free cash. If you're a new customer with us, first 30 days you can get interest-free loan. But it's saying if I brought a friend with me that I can get 30 days of free cash. It's for an interest-free loan. But that's not what the f y'all sign is saying. Seth tried to help, but it made things worse. Bitch, it says I get free cash. I'm not getting no that? free cash. Where does it say that? Who told you to get it? I need my cash. Someone else got involved and started criticizing the customer. Read what no, it said. Do you don't have to get in this line. Shut the up. Shut the up. For real. People gotta get in this line. Exactly. This shit is not gonna be people. I don't get out of this line. This led to a big argument. Even after being kicked out of the store, the argument continued outside. 
Next, we have a customer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV, my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. This customer seems to have plenty of time as he tells Seth his life story. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You soon to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an All-American football player. I got a... $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else that like that. Again, Seth sticks to the matter at hand. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. No, a lot of me. I said perfect. You understand? And take it out of here. Seth is not one to back down from a challenge, especially on home turf. How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the out of here. You make it. You want to see me make you? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Cause man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight, little dude. Why don't you take that piece of and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky, time for you to go. Standing in line, we have two ladies arguing. Oh, that's loud. No, I told you I didn't want to come with some other <laughs> Every time I, we go somewhere, you got to stop. Look, bitch, hands and shit done for tomorrow. Ashley approaches the two ladies trying to grab their attention. Why the f you always motherfucking ask me to f grab with your stupid ass? Yeah. What the f you want? Shush my ass. What the hell you want? Security was ready, but not needed. Dad, it's very inappropriate. There's kids around here. Why do the motherfucking bring the kids up in the pawn shop anyway? In the end, the two ladies leave on their own. Oh, bitch, if I fall, I have got to lawyer mother. I kiss my ass. How about that? This customer looks perfectly normal at first glance. You get a loan on this, please? A hundred dollars. I can do the hundred dollars. Can I have your ID? And that's with my twenty percent, right? The sign right here says I get twenty percent. I get my hundred plus another twenty percent, which make one twenty. Employee tells him that this will not be possible. No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? About. You ain't never seen the sign? I'm supposed to get 20%. You said you gonna give me 100. Right. I need 120. I can get Les and the security guy both notice the commotion that he is causing. Bro, the sign right here say I get 20%. Read it. To get 20% more on your items, you need to have an existing loan at another pawn shop. He grabs the sign that he is talking about. I need my $20. I right, one hundred dollars. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me pull my point. Hey, twenty percent more cash to anybody. Right. It's the mother D, right? Right. The way that... give it to me. No, sir. Why? When Seth tries to explain the situation to him, he keeps yelling. False advertising. I guess you think I. You're can... not letting me talk. Then, if you don't want to let me talk, then get the. Oh, come behind this glass, then, bro. Seth takes him up on his threat. Give me my mother hundred and twenty dollars in this bitch right now. Can I get my money? No, hey. actually, I'm not even offering you the hundred dollars anymore. Oh, for I'm real? Not, yeah, for real. F you ain't that hundred twenty dollars. He then prompts the security to kick him out. Appreciate that. I'll take the sign with me. Down for the sign, my man. I'm not taking the sign. Nine ass ass mother. I'm gonna get my mother twenty dollars worth. Huh? Twenty dollars worth right there, bitches. We have a customer looking to pay her ticket. I wanna pay on that. I don't know how much it is. I need two fifty nine fifty. You say what? I say you check your computer again. I say no. Baby girl, I got to do. Tell me what I owe you, because it ain't no 200 and nothing dollars. Seth is nearby and is included in the conversation as well. I don't need it. I don't, don't need, need your ID. Check your tough ass up, because ain't nobody talking to you, homeboy. You're a customer to me, so how can I help I'm you? I'm not no customer to You're you. Not... I love some bullshit. And who are you? Can you read? Can you read? Bitch, please. I got Bitch, it. please. This customer goes so far as Seth also notices something on her hand. They had red cups. Maybe there was some alcohol. Maybe they were drunk. Toast to that. I don't want your ass. Go get your manager. Get the f out my face, dog. Or else what? <laughs> the customer decides that the best action to take in this situation is to make Seth a promise. You know my baby daddy, he, he do a lot of Oh, yeah. I'm going to call him and come up here and, and f you up. Is that a threat? Bitch, please. It ain't no threat. It's a promise. Seth hands her ticket back. And along with that, security comes as well. Don't touch me. I, hold on. Get off me. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> Get off. Y'all out the bush. I don't know what that woman knows. I don't know who y'all with. Next up, we have a customer who also goes too far, but not for what you might think. Look, there's a horse out there. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Watch out. Watch out. We're coming. Hi. Check woo! Out. <laughs> Ashley is both amazed and concerned. Okay. 
I'll meet you right out there. Can you lead the way with the horse. I don't know how the hell she didn't knock over lamp showcases. Oh, okay, I'm done. Woo! This is the one we need to buy. <laughs> the gold family assembles, and the pony seems to be Ashley's dream. What are the prices? What are the prices? Uh, he's at thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Yeah, he's at twenty-five. Would you take a thousand? I take fifteen hundred. How about twelve fifty? You include the board. One month. Two months. But will they come to an agreement? Yeah. Split the second month with you. One twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. The kids will have fun. I think the family will have fun. I think I should start to learn how to ride it. Looking to purchase a pair of lucky earrings. This next customer has a bizarre request. Actually looking at these crosses. 100 bucks. The only thing is, I'm going to the casino. OK. And I need them in my ear. I want someone to put them through here. You're not even pierced yet, though, are you, in your ear? The employee is shocked while Ashley overhears the conversation. Wait, what are we piercing you with? Just earrings. Wait, what? We can be held liable if we do it. It appears that the customer and Ashley might have come to a solution. You will actually have to put you them in. I will make the dots how they normally do, do it. You can push them in his ear. That's straight. Fine. But of course, there is a reason why there are professionals for this job. All right, let me dot you up. Are you ready, dog? Come on now. Go! Oh. Holy <laughs> that went right through, didn't it? It didn't even move. Is it all the way through? Yeah, dude. And it bent. You really f it up. Yeah. Post is in his ear without the cross. So it actually broke and snapped off in his ear. However, the customer and his friend don't give up. This thing's bleeding like a sieve. You're not on the black dot. I'm on it. <gasps> oh, I heard that. The other side looks like but that looks good. This one didn't work out so well, but I'm hoping that at least one of the crosses gets me some good luck at the casino tonight. <gasps> Next up, we have a customer looking to pawn her ring. I want to pawn this ring that sure. I have. Diamonds around it are Chavosky crystal. The type of gem has Seth and the customer going back and forth. Chavosky, yes. Chavosky, no. Uh, my grandmother gave me that ring before she passed away. If they were Swarovski, right? If no, they were what? Swarovski. No, they're Chavosky. Seth can't seem to get to common ground with this customer. If they were, they wouldn't be setting anything fake. There are Chavosky crystals on the outside. And I'm not leaving up out of here without no money for my crystals. Crystals. I'm not interested in your crystals. Do you not understand English? You don't English. understand the word Shavosky crystals? No, I don't. I just, so what the f are you talking about? But what the customer shows Seth, he cannot place in pawn. I have something that's real. Really? These right here. These. They're real. And they're real. Can I get some money for those? Are you going to give me some money for something? If, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. The customer proceeds to leave the shop without a deal. Fake it. You right, don't know all, no crystals when you fake. say a mother you, bitch, whatever. And I just mother came all the way to over here. Next in line, we have a couple looking to sell their watches. Fine, I'm actually looking to pawn these two watches because I'm trying to get the hell out of his house. You guys dating, married. Was engaged, but not anymore. Her cheating. You was the one messing with bitches at work and shit. It doesn't matter anymore, so. Whatever. After having learned the life story from the ex-couple, Ashley proceeds to negotiate. You want to sell them, correct? Yeah, minimum 15 or 25. That's not enough to Dollar? get out the house, but. Look, why nobody talking to you? So shut up. Whatever. Shut Come up. On. So the problem with the watch is that it's not working. This one, I am not, because we don't take this brand. Fake. No. That's the brand. It seems this couple still has unfinished business. Shut the up. She ain't talking to you. Don't sell this Come on. Get the on. What's she? Sell it to her crack or something, you know? You never had no life before me. You never had no life before me. After getting slapped, he drags her outside the shop to settle the matter. Let's go. Let me go. Let's go. Let Get the off of me. I hate you. Get off of me. Whatever. You just a to me. It's not big anyway, so if I want to cheat, I will. This next customer walks in looking for his girlfriend's bracelet. Um, I'm here to uh, get my girlfriend's uh, bracelet back, tennis bracelet. I'm not allowed to just give anybody's item away. Look, hold on a second. Slow it down. I can't go back empty-handed without her bracelet, okay? You guys said I didn't need it. Come out you would have never, ever you told you that. And just like that, we have a situation on our hands. Told you what? I don't know. I didn't get a name. Okay. Back sure, where's the ticket? It's her I don't have a ticket. What? I got to be on my flight by 4 o'clock. I appreciate that. Well, let me get my bracelet, bro. Sure. I need a ticket or a notarized letter. That's the only way you can get the bracelet. Things continue to become tense. You guys said it was okay on the phone, bro. Give me the You call me a liar now? You're, I'm calling a liar. You're calling me a liar, yeah. bro, from behind that glaze. That was perhaps the biggest mistake this customer made. We're going to make this really, really simple. You're going to walk out the door. I'm not leaving without it. Make me get out then. Why? Yeah, you're going to stand behind those people. Poor little uh-huh. You my bracelet. What do you need your boy in front of you for, huh? 
snack hungry, this customer has a big issue on his hands. Look at this one candy bar sitting in front of the ones I want. My favorite candy bar. Man, this dude. First of all, look at this candy bar. I just want y'all to open this gate up. Somebody open this door. That's all I'm saying. Seth approaches quickly and waits for his turn as the customer keeps rambling. Hey, Don. You want me to break this piece of crap, dude? No, Get no. your hands off me! Call the police, do what y'all gonna do. You, I ain't going out nowhere. Still causing commotion outside as it seems he has forgotten something. Yo, sick of this shit. Just because y'all got these big cars don't mean shit. All I gotta do is open a candy bar up, man. Go get my damn payday. Y'all think this shit is a joke. That's all I'm saying. Seth makes sure this unwanted customer is removed. Man, I don't even want to see you, dog. So get the f out the property. You get the f off the property. Think y'all can look at me like I'm a piece of trash. Oh, you gonna throw my water like that, man? Don't throw my damn candy bar like that. We have someone who the Gold family is very aware of. Sorry. Oh, oh <laughs> Now what? Did you get rid of your other tools already? Yeah, I got rid of one tool. She's at home. The customer is looking to clear out his van. So, what you got here? That's a few tools, man. I'm trying to make some room in my van. How much you want for this stuff? Um, Just tell me what you want. Negotiations start. I'm thinking about it, brother. I ain't in that much in a hurry. Okay, how much you really gonna want? 250 How much you really gonna take? Probably go 100 bucks on all of it. Yeah, that would be it. 100 bucks. After a lot of back and forth, the deal is sealed. But that is not all. Yes, you sir. want a hundred bucks? Yeah, well, it helps. Every little bit helps. That's what the woman said gotcha. while she was taking right. a I gave him a decent loan on his stuff. He gets our money, walks over to a customer and tries to buy merchandise. You don't do business with my customers. Les approaches the customer once again. Is this your store? Oh, no, sir. So when you're standing in line and people are coming in, you're trying to buy stuff from my customers that are standing in line? Hey, voice spoke to me. You know I'm crazy. Let me see the money that we just gave you. No, it's in my pocket. Show me. Well, I no, want to see. I want to make sure. Show me the money. No, Let I'm me crazy. see it. I ain't stupid, man. Quit playing with me. Les might tolerate the behavior of him as a customer, but not when he tries to do business in his store. Well, you do know that this ain't your store. Keep your ass out. Keep your ass out. Thank you very much. Enough's enough. It's time for this guy to leave. Bitch, man, mother Crazy grizzly. Two customers walk in looking to hit the jackpot. The earth is shaking. The ground is moving like... All the commotion has Seth approached the two customers. You got nothing it's for sale. And so therefore, that's what made her and I come over here to yeah. try it. You really think I'm about to pay you money? Explaining the purpose of the machine, Seth is met with disagreement. This is what, a toy. This is here for the customer. You tell me where it says in English, anything that you want, anything. You want to talk to the manager? You are. You are. You're the manager? I'm the manager. Oh, nice. You're, yeah. not, you're not the manager. Where is the state where it's going? Where is the state where it's going? Where is the state where it's going? Security steps in to put an end to the commotion. You know we won. It's as big as day. We won. Out of order. Thank you. See you later, man. Where, where did my daughter go? I don't know. Damn this, sir. Mama, come on. Y'all out of order. A father looking for a birthday gift walks into the store. I'm trying to find some jewelry for my daughter. Her birthday is in like two weeks. She's going to be 12. She's going to be 12. Yep. Yeah. Ashley is disgusted by his actions. Do you want a Finex? I've got allergies, man. I itch, like, super bad. We have a heart one. It's really pretty. Ashley shows the watch to the customer. Can I see it? Can I just show it to you? I can't try and, like, look at it. That's bull****. Ashley's action is not appreciated. Can I see the sanitizer for a second? I'm not going to use sanitizer. Why don't you guys go yourself? I don't even care about the sale anymore. I just want him out of here. Classy. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.